Lamentations, Chapter 1 How doth the city sit solitary that was full of people? She is become as a widow that was great among the nations. She that was a princess among the provinces is become tributary. She weepeth sore in the night, and her tears are on her cheeks. Among all her lovers she hath none to comfort her. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They are become her enemies. Yehuda is gone into captivity because of affliction and because of great servitude. She dwelleth among the nations. She findeth no rest. All her persecutors overtook her between the constraints. The ways of Theon do mourn, because none come to the appointment. All her gates are desolate, her priests do sigh, her virgins are afflicted, and she herself is in bitterness. Her adversaries are become the head, her enemies prosper, for Yahweh hath afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. Her young children are gone into captivity before the adversary, and from the daughter of Theon all her majesty is departed. Her princes are become like hearts that find no pasture, and they are gone without strength before the pursuer. Yerushalem remembereth in the days of her affliction and of her miseries all her pleasant things that were from the days of old, when her people fell into the hand of the adversary, and none did help her. The adversaries saw her, they did mock at her desolations. Yerushalem hath grievously sinned, therefore she is become as an unclean thing. All that honoured her despise her, because they have seen her nakedness. Yea, she sigheth, and turneth backward. Her filthiness was in her skirts. She remembered not her latter end. Therefore is she come down wonderfully. She hath no comforter. Behold, O Yahweh, my affliction, for the enemy hath magnified himself. The adversary hath spread out his hand upon all her pleasant things, for she hath seen that the nations are entered into her sanctuary, concerning whom thou didst command that they should not enter into thy assembly. All her people sigh, they seek bread, they have given their pleasant things for food to refresh the soul. See, O Yahweh, and behold, for I am become despised. Is it nothing to you, all ye that pass by? Behold, and see if there be any sorrow like my sorrow, which is brought upon me, wherewith Yahweh hath afflicted me in the day of his fierce anger. From on high hath he sent fire into my bones, and did prevaileth against them. He hath spread a net for my feet. He hath turned me back. He hath made me desolate and faint all the day. The yoke of my transgressions is bound by his hand. They are knit together. They are come up upon my neck. He hath made my strength to fail. The Lord hath delivered me into their hands, against whom I am not able to stand. The Lord hath set at naught all my mighty men in the midst of me. He hath called an appointment against me to crush my young men. The Lord hath trodden as in a winepress the virgin daughter of Yehuda. For these things I weep. My eye, my eye runneth down with water, because the comforter that should refresh my soul is far from me. My children are desolate, because the enemy hath prevailed. 
the yawn spreadeth forth her hands. There is none to comfort her. Yahweh hath commanded concerning Yaqob that they that are round about him should be his adversaries. Yerushalem is among them as an unclean thing. Yahweh is righteous, for I have rebelled against his command. Here I pray you, all ye peoples, and behold my sorrow. My virgins and my young men are gone into captivity. I called for my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and my elders expired in the city, while they sought them food to refresh their souls. Behold, Yahweh, for I am in distress. My bowels are bloated. My heart is turned within me, for I have grievously rebelled. Abroad the sword bereaveth. At home there is as death. They have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou hast done it. Thou wilt bring the day that thou hast proclaimed, and they shall be like me. Let all their wickedness come before thee, and do to them as thou hast done to me for all my transgressions. For my sighs are many and my heart is faint.